Hello, this is Luke Smith, Application Specialist here at Avid, and in this video we are going to concentrate on all the new Yukon enhancements in Pro Tools 10. We are calling this Yukon Phase 2. Yukon Phase 1 coincided with the release of Pro Tools 9, and in Pro Tools 10 we take it many steps further. In Yukon Phase 2 we mainly concentrated on our application set for Pro Tools. An application set is a button template that automatically loads onto the buttons of an artist control, artist transport, or artist color when you launch a certain application. These application sets are programmed in our factory, but can be easily modified by each user. We have now completely redesigned our application set to be both more intuitive and faster to use. In addition, we now have access to virtually all Pro Tools functions via Yukon commands. Yukon commands are software functions that can be easily programmed to the buttons of the Artist Series or System 5 MC control surfaces. A Yukon command can execute virtually any type of software function, not only functions that have QWERTY keyboard commands already assigned to them. This allows our control surfaces to dive deeper into Pro Tools than ever before. I have an Artist Control in front of me, and I am looking at the Soft Keys tab on the touchscreen. On page 1, most of the buttons are color-coded purple. The purple color signifies that these buttons are programmed to simply jump to a new page of commands. For instance, if I hit the menu button, then it takes me to a new page that is programmed to mimic the pull-down menus in Pro Tools. Now if I hit the file menu button, I will be able to see all of the functions listed in the file menu. This is a significant advancement because our old application set was programmed to mimic the Pro Tools pull-down menus as well. The catch was that once in the menu pages you would only see functions in the Pro Tools menu that had key commands assigned to them. For example, in the old application set I would see New Session or Open Session. I would see Save, but there would be no Save As. Now all functions in every Pro Tools pull-down menu are only one or two button presses away. The next button jumps to all the transport specific functions. The Group Edit button jumps to a new page that allows you to create, delete, or modify any of your groups. We also have two new buttons that jump to automation functions labeled Auto Basic and Auto Advanced. Executing most of these functions are only possible in Pro Tools with a mouse normally, and now we have all of them available as Yukon commands. The Auto Basic button allows you to assign any track to any automation mode with two quick button presses. The Auto Advanced button gives us access to Write to Selection, Preview, Punch Preview, plus many more. Also, if we notice back on the Auto Basic page, we now have trim for our HD customers. Now, if we go back to page 1, I notice two new buttons labeled User 1 and User 2. These buttons are designed for multiple users to quickly have access to their own customized soft keys. I will also note that more user buttons can be easily created in U-Control. If I select the User 1 button, I notice it jumps to a new page where I see instructions to enter my own custom commands here. I want to program a new button here, but I must first note that the User 1 button is jumping to page 135. Going back to page 1 on the touchscreen, I will now switch to the U-Control software. The U-Control software is running in the background at all times, and I'm currently on the Soft Keys tab. I want to select the User 1 button and label it Luke, my name. Then I will go to page 135, where I can select any button and start to program it. If I click on this command menu, I can quickly add a Yukon command. Before I select the function I want, quickly take a look at all the new Yukon commands available. Anyone familiar with the Yukon menu in Pro Tools 9 knows only a handful of functions were listed. As we can see here, there are literally hundreds of new commands to choose from. I want to select a new Pro Tools 10 feature called Export Selected Tracks as New Session. This new function is located in the File menu, Export. Then I can close this window and change the color, font size, or text of this button if I want to. Switching back to Pro Tools, I will select my Luke button, and it takes me to my custom page. Now I can see my Export Selected Tracks as New Session button, and I'm going to hit it. Using this feature, I can now change the sample rate and bit depth of the tracks. I can only copy the main playlist if I want. I can copy over video files. So there is lots of flexibility with this new feature. It's great for customers working with really complex sessions, or in my case, I can use it to export only the drums from this session to a new one, where I could then use them to create an entirely new piece of music. So hopefully, all of this information will give you an idea of the true power we have added to these control services in Pro Tools 10. Thanks so much.